Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So we are currently on the way to the gym. We are, do you want to be in it? Yeah, why not, you I know? I'm sorry. We are about to go and have a leg day. It's a Friday. Yeah. We're waking up super early to go to Orange Theory tomorrow because it is our anniversary tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we have like a full day of fun things like planned, you know? Very so exciting. if you were following me on Instagram, you would have seen the whole day. So we kind of slept in this morning just a little bit. We're taking like today as our Saturday. And so now we're headed to the gym to do legs. Yeah. Well, I mean, we also didn't really sleep in. Well, we no. just went to bed late. We got the same amount of sleep we normally would. Yeah, we because uh, we were out last yeah. night for a birthday dinner. But pre-workout, I need to drink mine. Colin already drank his. Today, if you guys remember, like a while ago during Vlogmas, I bought Pump and I really did not like it. And first of all, I just drank it straight. And then I tried mixing it with my pre-workout. And then it, like Pump to me is just clumpy. So then I took like a couple weeks break and now I'm trying it again. So, and I really wanted to try it out on a leg day again. And so I have my mimosa pre-workout and then I um, mixed in mango sorbet pump. So I'm gonna give it a go again and see if I can tell a difference throughout my workout. And if not, I think I'm just gonna try and like here and there take it until it's gone and then never repurchase it and only keep doing pre-workout. But I don't know, mimosa and I think white pre-workout are my all-time favorite though. So this is the taste, the of, taste of it. Yes. Well, I think mimosa tastes great. I like mimosa better than Arctic White. See, it's got like, Pump has like a grainy aftertaste. Like, and well, it like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's just it. your thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Also, it's like raining today. <laughs> and it's freezing. Mm -hmm. focused on like glutes and quads more intensive stuff like that a lot of booty work oh uh, Colin I think recorded some of it it's gonna be on our fit Instagram so it's mr. and miss fit and spell for all I don't know I felt like I had a booty pump with pump but like I feel like I always have a booty pump on leg day so it's kind of like hard to tell did my butt look averagely larger today uh, I would say like from my perspective, I don't really think it did anything yeah, different. Yeah, I don't think so. I had to uh, stop by Harris Teeter, which is a grocery store that we are currently passing right now, to just pick up some things, um, cause Colin was gonna start eating peanut butter and jellies, and <laughs> I needed some fruit. I bought fruit for this overnight oats bowl, and then I froze it for some reason, cause I'm so used to freezing my fruit, to go into my smoothies, and I forgot that that fruit didn't need to be frozen, so now I have to go buy more fruit, cause once 
once you freeze fruit, you can't like unfreeze fruit or else fruit gets weird. So we're gonna go run into her cedar and then run home after that. Plus we have a parcel pending. We have a lot of things going on right now. I showered. I'm not gonna wash my hair until tomorrow though since we are having like a fun little day together. So for my hair today, I was thinking we could do like a fun little braid situation because I haven't really shown you guys like any new braids lately. It's been a minute. So I kind of got inspo from Pinterest, which is where I literally get all my life inspiration. You just gotta split your hair into two. And then once you get it, I'm gonna put a hat on by the way too. I'm definitely feeling a hat today. I use these elastics. I just got them at Target. They're like these thin elastics. And, okay. You just secure it like you're doing a little pigtail. So that's the first thing. I always do it a little bit loose just because I don't really like it tight. Then you take another one and you do that again, kind of a little bit farther down. Same thing. Now you split the one above in the middle, flip it in backwards through it and pull down. And then you can like kind of, you know, fix it, scrunch it out, do whatever you want to do. And then we're going to do that one more time. This is like super simple, really easy. You can just do it yourself. And then you just kind of like pull out and like fluff it up. You got to like kind of hold it at the bottom too. And then you just pull it out. I just want to show you guys this. I might actually end up putting my hair in a bun though, just because I don't really want to deal with it today. But there's one side. So then you just, well, I might need to pull this one out a little bit more. You put your hat on, you pull out your front pieces, and you've got like those boho looking braids. Just like a little simple. It looks like you braided it or fishtailed it, but you really didn't. And yeah, really easy. I'm going to actually put my hair in a bun today though. I just wanted to show you guys because I found it. Thought I would show you. I did drink a protein shake right when I got home, and then I wanted to show you guys a new recipe. So, yeah, or recently I found this recipe for overnight oats that I wanted to try. So, I ended up making that last night and I just put them in the refrigerator. So, here I'll give you guys the recipe. Okay, so I got this recipe off of Instagram. I'll have the Instagram link down below and then you can kind of explore it. I've actually met her in person, I met her at um, like an influencer event, um, like a couple, like a month or two ago. Um, but she lives in Charlotte and she makes really good food. So I got this recipe from her. She has no idea I'm even filming this, but it's half a cup of gluten-free oats, one tablespoon chia seeds, one teaspoon ground flax seeds, a half teaspoon cinnamon and a pinch of salt, and then a cup of, she said cashew milk, but I like almond milk better, so I used almond milk. And then you can put whatever toppings you want on it. So I made that yesterday and then I let it soak overnight. So here it is, and I'm just gonna put it into my bowl. And then I also have toppings. So I have banana, a little bit of strawberries, blackberries, cashews, almonds. I'm gonna sprinkle some more chia seeds on top and almond butter. So I'm just gonna like make this little creation in my bowl right now. my smoothie that I usually eat by the way okay so I just took pictures <laughs> I'm very proud of this I'm gonna sit here and eat it I also ordered a pair of shoes from Zappos so I need to check okay, here are the shoes they're from Nike which is very surprising because I'm like an Adidas girl first of all I'm gonna take a bite of this because I like literally must her recipe says that you can eat it warm and just kind of like warm it up on the stovetop or eat it cold but since like the fruit and everything else is cold I figured it would just be better if I ate it cold mm. Oh, that's really good. You like it? Mm hmm. You wanna try it? I had a feeling it was gonna be really good. Mmm. <clears throat> okay, so they're called. What were they called? Nike Air, Air Heights. This is what they look like. You hate them? 
just like to preface this by saying that I love Bianca. <laughs> but I don't understand these shoes. <laughs> They're like trendy. They're for my Battle of the Brands video. They're trendy if you're an elderly person in a retirement home. <laughs> okay. He thinks that they're, well, in his defense, we did totally see like a really old man. We today saw a grandpa at the gym wearing them and I said, look, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> but tell me if you think that they're cute or if they're like, no. Mm -mm. You have to tell me. Negative O. I think they're kind of cool. I found them because Joe, or like from Joe and Kemper, Jordan, I don't know, some like Instagram account, she was wearing them. I thought that they were cool and they would go perfect with my Battle of the Brands video because they're like super LA and trendy and I'm trying out set active. It all made sense in my head. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. <laughs> Now that Colin and I are like both dressed. Okay, oh, I love when the windows are open in our bedroom. It just puts me in a good mood. But um, I updated you guys on my Instagram, but I know not everybody follows me on Instagram. So I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick home decor update and then we're gonna build this new clothing rack that I just bought for the entry, which I also updated you guys on Instagram, but I told them it was coming. I just didn't tell you guys like, I just didn't show it yet, obviously, because it delivered yesterday. New update, we hung up this mirror on the wall. This looks really good now. I like it a lot. We made it even with the top. But, yeah, I don't know. We feel like it opens up the room so much more. I also think it'll be really cute for, like, outfit pictures here, too. So, now I have options, which I'm all about. But, I don't know. I'm just, like, very obsessed with this. I couldn't stop saying how much I liked it yesterday. So, yeah, that was a really good move. And then here, I'm covering up our apartment number. But here's the clothing rack. I just ordered it on Amazon. Coming to this mirror now. I can have this linked in the description box below. But I'm really excited, and we're just going to put it right here. So, while Colin eats... I'm gonna build it, or I'm gonna try. I might need his help. I'm not the best at building things. I told Colin yesterday that I just don't like building things, so. Back on these shoes, I seriously think that they're cute. Are you joking? No. Are you actually like serious? You need to take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this should be like incredibly hard to build. Be careful with that, I don't like that by your leg. Why? Because you're literally poking, I don't know, I just, that's just really dangerous. More boxes. Okay, we're just gonna see you guys in a second. Well, do you want to go put her where she belongs? Hold on, hold on. No, no, like a fool. Oh my goodness. Alright, like let's go, years. drama queen. Can you tell them what happened? Um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> How does it look? Is it cute? I like it though. It's like a good, it was just like an awkward little space right there. And plus now like there's room for my purse and stuff. I think it was a good purchase. Worst case scenario, if we don't like it there, we could put it in that corner. The box corner? Yeah. Yeah, if we, yep. Here, are you gonna tell them what happened? Yes. I was reading the directions and when I stopped recording, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was because we. Story. I'm gonna interrupt though at one point. It was because we realized that I messed up and I told him the wrong thing, even though he asked. So, and I was like, yeah, "Yes, this is how it is." So I he asked multiple times. I was like, sure. "So the holes are inside, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "You sure?" I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "Okay, okay." And I was like, "Yeah." Wrong. We had to <laughs> you got it all tightened, all the way put together. <laughs> yep. Then we had to take it apart, but it's okay. <laughs> it looks good. I'm gonna put like my purse on it and stuff. Okay guys, so I've kind of decorated it, but hire me to decorate your house, okay? 
it. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I just hung some jackets up. I have my purses on this side. I'm thinking like a plant right here, maybe. And then if I, well, if I do do a plant here, I'm gonna like switch this to this side and then put a plant. Okay, I'll just leave it there right now. And then um, down below, I have Colin and my shoes that are all like neutral colored because I wanted them all to match. And then if you come over here, we've had this and I've had no idea what to do with it. We got it from Home Goods like way before we ever moved. So I hung it on this side and then yeah, that's just kind of like chilling here. And then I'm thinking like maybe a hat of some sort hanging up there one day when I get like another lack of color hat or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's just kind of what we got going on right now. And then here I'll show you from this angle. Cute, right? So I got to that point where like my hat was really itching my forehead, so I took it off. So now my hair is just a mess and we need to wash it. Okay, so I am snacking on some avocado toast and two fried eggs. We are getting ready to record a podcast because um, we didn't do that yesterday, so we definitely need to do that today. And then probably after this, we're going to make dinner. I just recorded a clip telling you guys that we were doing a podcast episode on communication and that was just not right. So we're doing a podcast episode on 10 ways to improve your relationship or strengthen your relationship mm -hmm. or something like that or just like even relationship. I can't talk so this isn't good. Even <laughs> relationships like with your friends and family, just like all around relationships. So yeah, now that I know we're doing that, that's good. Change into my dinner outfit, my comfy, comfy sweats. Also, oh god. <laughs> okay, sorry, did you see that? So you dropped it. <laughs> I flew it. Okay, we're making this hella fresh meal for dinner and I've never even had it before and I've been very excited to taste it. And then also, if you saw on my Instagram story the other day, I stocked up on those. So we're definitely gonna have this for a snack. Or actually, maybe the popcorn ones and we should bring the almonds to the movie theater tomorrow. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay guys, here's what the final bowl looks like. It's really hard to tell, but there's couscous on the bottom. We've been getting like a lot of meals with couscous lately, but this is only 690 calories maybe. And then I decided to go with the popcorn. And I tried these on. You guys will see them in my Battle of the Brands video coming up here soon once this other brand delivers. But I'm keeping those because I like them. So we're going to eat. And then right now we're watching the Dublin murders in between The Outsider releasing on HBO every Sunday. So um, I actually really like the Dublin murders. So we're, it's it's, cool. We watch it's it on Star Stars. Star, yeah. yeah. So, so if you have Hulu, if or, you have Hulu Spotify, or Spotify, you can, you can watch it. Yeah. But I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below any videos you want to see. And I will see you guys in my next vlog or video or whatever. Okay, bye.